Hi, morning. How are you? Welcome today, Thursday, 4th June 2020. And let's review a little bit the, the unit about the chemical stoichiometry. Uh, last last day we review. Hello, Paula, Lucia, a lot of people today. Vanessa, that's great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten people. That's great. Last day we um, uh, solved these problems. Today we're going to complete the the worksheet correction, and I'll explain the structure of the exam. Uh, so how uh, then how many how many questions about chemistry about theory how many questions about problems what type of problems so you won't have any doubt about it let's go uh, last day we correct set until activity number six I think so today uh yes today we are going to do the rest okay if you have problems with this type of activity i advise you to review the previous lesson the previous session session so today let's continue with activity seven i solve your your doubts at the end of the lesson today okay so the borane, do you remember we have borane? Borane is B H three. So we have a molecule called the borane into A six. The borane, the borane reacts with O2, with oxygen, to form boric acid. Uh, I, should, I should have written uh, orthoboric or metaboric acid. Let's, uh, I'm going to do both, okay? Because I don't know if you write the uh, boric acid as H, B O three and one four divided two two and water. Maybe, maybe be careful, okay? Attention here. This is metabolic acid. Maybe you write orthoboric acid that is. Okay, I'll do I'll do it again or I'll change it at the end. Okay. This is metabolic uh, acid. So let's do it like this. Uh, anyway, so, um, it's not going to uh, affect to the result because uh, we are asking mass of oxygen and they give us the borane and they ask for water. So, but it will change the um, adjustment of the equation. So uh, let's do it in, the, in both ways. Second way, faster, okay? So 36.1 grams of the uh, borane. We need to, um, we need to calculate the molar mass. Mass of the brain is, we look for the brain, boron is 10.8, 10.8, so 21.6 and 6, 21.6 and 6, 27.6 grams per mole, uh, oxygen, 32 grams per mole, and water, 18 grams 
Vermont. If you have any question, I got this number. Composition, two atoms and six atoms of a hydrogen. So I obtained this number. So uh, they are asking the mass of oxygen that will be needed. First, we calculate, first we adjust the equation. So we have six, one boring, two boring, uh, so two boring, but we are going to be, um, if we try two, then we have two hydrogen and two hydrogen for hydrogen. Impossible to, to get six, but, uh, okay, two here. Now bottom is okay. Four hydrogen, so we need two more. So now it's adjusted. And now we have a uh, two times for two, four oxygen and two oxygen, it makes six oxygen. Impossible with this um, with this quantity, so we double. You know, six oxygen times, no? Three times. Four and two, three times. Okay, now it's adjusted. Then we calculate the, uh, then we calculate the moles. We calculate the moles of the brain. 36.1 gram of the brain. Conversion factor, 27.6 gram, one mole. So we have 36.27, I think you got it. I'm going to, have you tried at home? I would like to know how many of you have tried at home so I can, uh, go faster or slower okay please write in the chat if you have tried at home I don't want you to uh, if most of you are correcting just correcting I can go faster if most of you uh, haven't tried I can go slower Podéis poner por favor en el chat de si al, quién lo, lo ha intentado o cuántos habéis intentado en casa para ir más rápido o más despacio. Si nadie lo ha intentado, pues voy un poco más, más despacio para daros tiempo a pensarlo. Y si algún, la mayoría o algunos lo habéis intentado, pues voy, voy más rápido. Rubén, you tried. Ok, anyone else? Uh, silence will be considered as non try. So I beg, uh, I beg your passion, passion, and Cristina, Blanca, you try, but so you have to identify what is the mistake, uh, why you couldn't do it. Okay, Ruben, Cristina, try. Blanca didn't get it, so I'm going um, faster for uh, slower for you. Paula, try. Okay. So most of you try, and if you didn't try, you can set the problem. You can. It's better you to think now than copy everyone. Okay. And Maria, try. Okay, so great. Then I'm going a little bit faster, okay? With the calculations and right 27.6. Okay, so 
This is one thirty one mole of liberate. Next step, after calculating the moles of uh, liberate, we use, let's go with uh, A, okay? We use the molar proportion. We use molar proportion. One is three, so one point thirty one mole of the brain react with three, one with three, so three mole of oxygen is needed to react with one one mole of one mole of Deborain. And it's three times this, so three point ninety three. Ninety three mole of oxygen. It's important you to identify mole of divorin, mole of oxygen, this letter here. Finally, finally, we calculate the mass with the uh, mole, okay? Or the grams, 3.93 mole of oxygen we know that one mole weights 32 gram 32 gram so oops my mistake here okay mole up so one mole see i see that mole must go with mole so is 32 gram. De aquí la importancia de que pongáis esta, de que lo hagáis de esta forma. Si me he equivocado, lo veo al momento. Ok, if I got it wrong, it's easy to see the, the mistake. 3.93 times 32, uh, 32, 125 grams of oxygen. One hundred uh, point seventy six. Okay. And then to calculate the mass of water, we do the same with one mole. One mole. Uh, sorry, one point thirty one mole of divorin. We use the molar proportion with water, so twice the width to mole of water is obtained with each mole of the brain. So this is 2.62 mole of water. And finally, I calculate the mass of water, 262 mole of water each mole weight uh, eight, 18 grams so it gives gives 2.62 times 18 is equal to 47.16 47.16 grams of water Um, of what? Okay, if uh, instead of 2HBO, um, you write boric acid. Okay, only if you write this, this is completed, okay? But, oops. 
if you wrote the chemical equation as with orthoboric acid, that can be the case, okay? Is metabolic plus water. So HBO2 plus one water molecule is H3BO3. If you wrote this, plus a uh, less um, balance so it's two here i'm going to do the pencil okay two here then i have two bottom two bottom um two three uh, impossible no i have more hydrogen so in a step of two let's write um Double four. So to here, I have four times two. This is twelve. And this is three, um, 12, 13, 14. impossible two. So instead of a four, cinco, tres, doce. 13, 14, si fuera de 2. Con 4 no vamos a ningún lado. Con 5, con 6, con 6. Ok, voy a 6, 18, 19 y 20. Ahora sí, ¿no? 3 por 6, ahora sí. Six, difficult to adjust. Three, six for three, 18. Eh, bueno, aquí al haber seis, aquí tiene que haber tres. Y aquí, seis por tres, 18. Y aquí tengo seis por tres, 18, 19 y 20. Mm -hmm. No se puede ajustar, ¿no? No, no se puede ajustar porque siempre voy a tener. Entonces, entonces el, el ácido bórico con este, con ácido ortobórico no se puede ajustar nunca, ¿no? Yo tengo 7, eh, no, vamos a probar con 8 por 4. Este sería 4. 8 por 3, eh, 36. ¿Qué va? No puedo ajustarla porque nunca voy a tener, ¿vale? Impossible to adjust. No adjust possible. Entonces... Y con este ácido, no es ácido ortobórico, sino que es ácido metabólico, con este ácido, ¿ok? Con HBO2. Ok, let's continue. I know if you try with uh, uh, ortobólico acid, but it's impossible to adjust. Let's go with uh, number eight. If you want... Uh, Did you have it right? Había intentado, salía bien. Did you have it well? You got it right? Tell me your mistakes so I can uh, I can uh, emphasize so I can work more with uh, your mistake. Calculate the mass of water produced from the combustion. You got it, Ruben? Great. Uh, let's go. Okay, I got it now. Calculate the mass of, in kilograms of water produced by the combustion of one gallon of gasoline. Okay, this is the molecule of gasoline. Uh, it combustion, the fuel reacts with uh, oxygen to produce water and carbon dioxide. 
and with oxygen to produce water and carbon dioxide. And energy, okay? So we can move our cars. Carbon dioxide is very bad for environment, increases the uh, greenhouse e effect. That's why burning gasoline is not very good for the environment. Even if the gasoline is pure like this. Okay, so we have one gallon is 3.8 liters. Liters. And we know the density. Uh, the density is, okay, this is equal to Three mm, three thousand eighty milliliters. So we opt, we know the density. The density is equal to mass divided volume. So the mass is equal to density times volume. It means zero point seventy nine, and the volume is three milliliter grams per milliliter and milliliter so obtain the mass in grams of gasoline uh, 0 0.79 times 3 it gives equal to 3 grams of water of oh, uh, we have 3 grams Gram. No, there's too few. Uh, sorry, three thousand. Three thousand. Okay, so we have three thousand grams of uh, gasoline. CH eighteen. Uh, let's calculate the molar mass. They are asking about uh, calculate the mass of water and the um, gasoline. So we need we know that C H is equal to eight times twelve, eight times twelve plus eighteen equal to one hundred. And 40 grams per mole. Water is 18 grams per mole. Okay, so have you tried to adjust the equation? Let's go with the adjustment. Here there is an 8, so I try here A. Here is a 18, so I write here 9, but 8 times 2 is 16 plus 9, 25, impossible. So I need to double instead of A, I use 16, 2, 2. And 18. So now I have mm, 16 carbon, 16 carbon, 36 hydrogen, 36 hydrogen, and how about oxygen? 32 and 80, 32 and 80 is equal to 50. So with 50, I can write here. 25. Okay, this is a um, this is the adjustment of this equation. Very big, but uh, not difficult. The key here is I adjust car carbon, I adjust hydrogen, and I didn't get it 
So I double, I can get 25, so I double, then I have 50 molecule. What do I do next? Okay. What do I do next? I have 3,000 grams of gasoline, so I calculate the most of CH A16 18. I use the molar proportion. And I calculate the mass of water. I'm going to do it in one operation, okay? If you know each step, let's try in one operation. You can save time, okay? So I start with 3,000 grams of gasoline. I calculate the moles, so I know that one mole of gasoline weighs 114 grams of a uh, of gasoline now you would get a result but you you are going to use it again no i have the mold of gasoline i use the molar proportion to we are to to obtain 18 so 18 moles mold of okay we write mold of water with two mole of gasoline oh it's raining very hard yeah hard rain let's and i calculate the mass of water i have the mole of water so 18 grams of water the mass of one mole of water. So I obtain the mass of uh, hydrogen. I can gram with gram, mole of gasoline with mole of gasoline, mole of water with mole of water. So I obtain 3000. 3,000 times 18 times 18 divided 40 and divided 2. I obtain 4, 2, 63 grams of water. So It will be produced or oh, four point two, no, will be put oh, okay. I can write here the I think it's okay. It will be produced four point two sixty three kilograms of water. Did you get it right? Maybe you got the steps. So 3,000 divided 114. You got the uh, uh, 26.31 mole. Then you get a uh, 236 moles of water, and then you have 4,273 grams of water. 
Eh, did you wear it dry? Ruben, Maria Blanca, have you tried this? Miguel, you also try. How is your, how are your problems? Okay, number nine is interesting. It's uh, to Okay, let's go. When have a mistake? Blanca, very well. Okay, let's do activity nine. They give us the reaction, adjust it, and we need to write the formula. Let's try. This is a, something new. Okay, number nine, it said one mole of sweetener, um, sweetener, sweet is uh, dulce, no? So sweetener, sweetener means edulcorante. Edulcorante. Aspartame is a, aspartame in English is a very common sweetener. And the effects on the body are not clear yet. I think that they change the microbiota in your in your organs. So it's not so caloric as uh, glucose, but uh, it's not uh, clear, okay? So we have aspartame, one mole, 14, 18, two nitrogen, and five oxygen. We add with two mole of water, to produce uh, one more of aspartic acid, C4A7 and O4, one more of methanol, CA3OA, and one more of phenylalanine, phenylalanine, we don't know, the formula. Okay, so we need to count the number of carbon here and the number of carbon here and the rest. What is missing is the formula of phenylalanine. 14 carbon. So here we have four and five. Four and one five. So until I get to 14, I need nine carbon. 14 and four, nine carbon. Hydrogen, I have 22. So uh, seven and one, three, 10, 11. So I need 11 hydrogen. No, seven, uh, 10, 11, and 11, 22. Okay. And oxygen, uh, nitrogen, I have here two nitrogen. I have here only one. So nitrogen, one nitrogen. And oxygen, we have five, 10, seven. And here we have four, five, two more. Seven. Okay, so phenylalanine formula is C nine H eleven 
nitrogen, the oxygen. Is uh, this right? Did you get the same result? Uh, carbono, 14, 4, más 5 y 9, 14 carbonos. Perfecto. Hidrógeno hay 18 y 4, 22. Y aquí hay 7, 3, 10, 11 y 11, 22. Nitrógeno aquí hay 2, aquí hay 1 y 2. Y oxígeno aquí hay 5 y 2, 7. Y aquí hay 4, 5, 6 y 7. Ok, so, get it? Uh, let's go with B. We start with 378 grams of this substance. How many grams of phenylalanine is produced or are produced? No? What, what mass is produced? How many grams are produced? It's not difficult, but uh, it's something new. Puede entrar, dice Estrella. Bueno, mmm, parece muy difícil, pero es fácil, es contar, ¿no? Es como ajustar, pero en vez de que de, tengas que calcular los coeficientes, te dan los coeficientes y te dicen lo que, lo que cae. Sí, puede entrar y, y podía haber entrado también antes de haberlo corregido. Pero bueno, es un, un problema original. Te dan los lo coeficientes, te piden la, la... Sí, lo voy a dar, ¿vale? Cuando yo termino de corregir y, y digo lo, los problemas que, van a, que va a haber. Ok, so... Eh, we need to know the molar mass of... C14 and 19 and oxify. Okay, so calculating the. Uh, did you get this? Have you tried? Did you have it right? Lo había intentado, lo tenéis bien esa, esa parte. 14 por 12 más 18. Más, opa, 12 por 14 más 18. Más 2 por 14. Más 5. Por 16. Bueno, Vamos. Eh, por 12, más 11, más 14, más 16 por 2. This is called a macromolecule, a macromolecule. Macromolecule. So, what do I do? 378 grams of aspartame. I convert it to mole. I use the molar proportion, so one mole. It's 233 grams. I use the moral proportion. One, one. One, one. And finally, I calculate the mass. I know that we, I have more. So one mole is 175. So this is equal to... 378 divided 235 times uh, 1.65 grams of vanilla la, la, la. Okay, got it? This is not difficult. Okay, something about gases. Number 10 is with gases. Number, number 10 is classic problem with uh, gases. 
Um, sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid is produced in greatest quantity. Very, very common. 45 million tons per year only in the uh, United States. And they give us the re chemical reaction. Uh, okay, I can see. Let me turn off here. Okay. Uh, calculate the volume of oxygen to produce one ton of sulfuric acid. First, we need to adjust the equation. Uh, sulfur and solid plus oxygen plus water react with water to obtain H2SO4. Uh, sulfur is okay, hydrogen is okay, but it's not okay, so I need to double. Uh, oxygen is not okay, so I need to write double, quad mm, double. So I have a double and four, okay, three now have eight oxygen, so two sulfur and three oxygen. Okay, two, three, two, and two. It's okay, yes. Hey. Uh, one ton, we need one ton of sulfuric acid. One ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms, and is equal to 10 to six grams of sulfuric acid. The mass of sulfuric acid is 98 grams per mole. And they're asking about um, oxygen. Oxygen is 32 grams per mole. So they're asking the liters at 22 degrees, I don't like the Celsius degrees, so this is 295 Kelvin and 745 mercury millimeters, that is equal to, mm, we need to convert millimeters dividing by 0 0.760 divided por 760. 0.98 atmosphere. Okay, so now it's uh, adjusted, now it's balanced. What do I do next? I calculate how many moles of a uh, I calculate the moles, the moles of sulfuric acid. Let's go. We have ten times six grams, and we use a factor to. 98 grams per one mole. And I have 91, 10 to 6. Be careful, eh? When you write, don't write 10, 10 to 6. Be careful. 1 times 10 to 6. Divided 98 is... Um, or the mole proportion, the molar proportion, 
is the modern proportion. So 10 mole of a uh, of four. With three, I obtain two. So three mole of oxygen to and needed to produce two mole of sulfuric acid. Uh, so uh, ten times three divided by two. 306 mole of oxygen. And finally, what do I do finally? Mole of oxygen, gaseous. And condition, I apply ideal gas low. Volume equal to energy divided P. Okay, so this is the number of mole, the constant, the temperature, and the pressure. And I obtain this times uh, 0 0.082 times 295 divided the pressure 0 0.98 I tame 3 times 78 tends to 5 liters okay laser gas very well estrella with mole and gaseous in a condition, so I obtain these uh, liters. Okay, and last problem here, the difficulties are tone from tone to grams, maybe you forgot, and we introduce the ideal gas because uh, one reactant, un reactivo, is a gaseous, it's in gaseous mode. And final, uh, okay, this is a, a reaction that we saw last year, the airbag inflate, how the airbag is inflate. Um, it's very, very, very fast reaction. So they say it's our life. The, um, Sodium aside, el nitruro de sodio. Uh, there is a mistake here. Nitruro de sodio. Uh, uh, uh. There is a mistake here. Nitruro de sodio, SNA3N. Anyway, let's, let's do it with this. But I think there's a mistake. Creo que está mal, eh? El nitruro de sodio no es SNA3N. N3, sino que es Na3N. Pero bueno, vamos a hacerlo con este con esta forma. Se descompone en sodio y en nitrógeno gas. Y en N2. Esta reacción es en... The reaction is used to inflate the airbus that cushion passengers during automobile conditions. Okay, cushion. Cushion, que suena como a cojín, ¿no? Cushion, este calor. I would say that is proteger o eh, amortiguar. Este calor, cushion, mullir, ¿no? Cushion es cojín, shock absorber, amortiguar, amortiguar, suavizar.
amortiguar. Suavizar a un cojín, ¿no? Cushion. Vale, pues. Eh, passengers during automobile collisions. The reaction is in, in, initiated in airbags by an electrical impulse, a spark, una chispa, and results in the rapid evolution of gas. The gas inflates the, the gas. Okay, so if the nitrogen gas that results from the composition of five grams, we have five grams, of uh, is collected, recogido, to inflate the airbag, what volume of gas would be produced it is at 22 degrees and 762 millimeters of mercury. 22 degrees, 295 Kelvin, And 762 is uh, 700 divided by equal to 1.03 atmosphere. Okay, we need to know the molar mass of a molar mass and And two, we don't need the molar mass. We have to convert from uh, sodium is uh, sodium 23 and nitrogen is 14. So 23 times 10, 3 to 23 plus 3 to 14, 65 grams per mole. Okay, let's adjust the equation. Yes, let's go. Equation giving adjustment. Three, two, so three here, and three times six, two here, and two here. Okay, then I calculate the moles of uh, calculate. The number of moles of na na sodium acid, okay, is 65, sorry, it's 5 grams, 5 grams, we know that 65 grams is one mole, so this is five divided by 65, zero point zero seventy six mole. Then to react with three, I use molar proportion. Proportion so zero point zero seventy six mole of two we add we obtain three mole of nitrogen with two mole and this is um Three times divided to zero point mole of nitrogen. And finally, we have the mole, and they are asking for uh, liters for gaseous. So I calculate finally, I use ideal gas low to obtain the liters, the volume in liters. We know that pressure time volume equal to 
NLT, so volume is equal to NLT divided pressure. So this is equal to what, 0 0.15, 0 0.082, temperature 295. En el examen os doy la constante, pero esta conversión no la doy, ¿eh? Y esta tampoco la doy, si os doy milímetros de mercurio. Hay que saber convertirla a la atmósfera y a grados centígrados, ¿vale? Pressure 1.3. This is equal to... Mm, 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 mm. 0.85. 1.08. 2.7. 71, 2.71 liters of metric. Okay, so five grams, very, very uh, few quantity. We're saying 2.71. That is enough to inflate the airbag. Any question? collective did you have it right okay let's see the sun structure next sun structure any idea oh sorry the sun structure so let give me a moment okay quanto sorry 2.71 uh, uh, and a momentito os digo la estructura del examen, ¿vale? 19, 20. Esto es eso. Ya lo he bajado, perdona, ¿eh? Venga, vamos a ver la estructura del examen. Un momentito que la tengo por aquí. Puedo eh, puedo cambiar, ¿no? Ya lo habéis visto. No sé si la tenéis bien. Este es el examen, así el, el problema más completo que hay que hay por ahí, ¿vale? Pues vamos a poner en el examen, os voy a dar lo, las masas atómicas, ¿vale? De los elementos, las constantes N y las constantes números de abogadro y la R, eso lo daré, ¿vale? Y el examen tiene una, eh, una pregunta de teoría con la poquilla teoría que hemos que hemos dado este, este problema, este examen, este tema, ¿vale? Una pregunta de, de teoría, cortita, luego, eh, un problema de mm, pasar de número de moléculas, a gramos, a moles, ¿Vale? un problema como los que hemos hecho al principio de, de, del tema, que luego lo usamos en todos los en todos los problemas y eso, pero bueno, normalmente en estequiometría siempre estamos pasando de gramos a moles, nos quedamos aquí, pues uno que haya que calcular el número de moléculas o que te dé el número de moléculas y tengas que calcular cuánto pesa, ¿vale? Un problemilla de esto de, de calculito con varios apartados. Luego eh, he planteado cinco ecuaciones para ajustar. Five chemical equation to adjust. To adjust 
Cinco ecuaciones químicas para ajustar. Un problema de ley de la Boisier. Estos son muy fáciles, ¿eh? De conservación de la masa, miramos la masa de los reactivos, la de los productos, vemos lo que falta, lo que sobra, lo que queda sin reaccionar, ¿vale? Venga, pues un problemita de la Boisier. Y por último, un problema de gases. Ahí no voy a ver. Problem. Un problemita de gases, muy fácil. Y por último, dos problemas de estequiometría. Dos problemas de estequiometría. Uno sin gases. Sin gases. Y con la... Eh, Chemical Reaction Given. Reaction Given. Uno sin gases con la reacción química que te la dan. Te la escriben, ¿no? Y otro, el último, que sería con gases. Y you have to write the chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. ¿A qué hora es el examen? Puede ser el lunes a las 11 y... Perdón, el lunes a las 12 y 40. Monday, el lunes, Monday 8, June, de 12, 40, a 13, 55. Esto va a valer un punto, y luego eh, el peso aproximado es eh, un punto, un punto, un punto. Vale, un punto, un punto, un punto, tres, esto va a valer cinco, entonces le va a dar otro punto. En un punto y medio, cinco preguntas. A lo mejor hago seis, ¿no? Y le damos un punto y medio. Seis y vamos a darle 1,5 puntos. Eh, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro y medio. Esto le vamos a dar dos puntos. Aunque realmente 5 y medio, 6, 6, vamos a dar otro punto y medio, 3, 4, 5, 6, y este le vamos a dar 2 puntos, y este le vamos a dar otros 2 puntos. Me parece que la de esta la estructura que yo tenía, ¿no? Aproximadamente, a ver. Un punto. El dos. Dos puntos. Esto le vamos a dar. No voy a cambiar esto. Esto le voy a dar dos puntos. Vale. Y a este. Último que es esta nota. Le vamos a dar. Un punto y medio. Uno cinco puntos. 
¿Vale? Dudas. Así, ¿no? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro y medio, cinco y medio, seis y medio, siete y medio, ocho y medio. El glossary, bueno, voy a... Esta unidad hemos dado poquitas palabras, solo cuatro o cinco en el glossary. Entonces, pondré un par de, de palabras de este glossary y alguna palabra de, de unidades anteriores. ¿Vale? Que, tenen, que tengamos alguna palabra que hayamos visto a lo largo del curso. Pero no le voy a dar tanto peso como cuando veíamos glossary grandes en clase que salían... Salían muchas palabras y el bilingüismo con esto del confinamiento pues se ha quedado un poco, se ha quedado un po, un poco, eh, un poco minorado, un poco dañado, ¿vale? Venga, aprovechad y me hacéis las preguntas que tengáis que nos vamos, venga. Va a haber varios modelos de exámenes, o sea, pero cambiaré eh, los problemas de uno a otro, pero todos con la misma dificultad. Es fácil. Los que había está trabajando y eso es fácil, ya veréis que lo vaya, que vaya a sacar buena nota. Los que no lo hayáis trabajado, tenéis tiempo de aquí al, al lunes, de verdad, de prepararlo. Mirad los vídeos, ver lo, los directos. Blanca, bien, estás con más seguridad que al principio ha dicho que no te habían salido, que no sabes cómo hacerlo. Estos problemas que cuando uno ve cómo otro lo hace parecen muy fáciles, pero es importante, de verdad, que os pongáis folio en blanco y a practicarlo y hacerlo. Y veréis cómo, cómo sale bien. Venga, por alguna duda más, si no, nos encontramos el lunes, ¿vale? Eh, mirad, el... sucede que ma mañana por temas personales no voy a poder dar la clase de formulación. Lo he, lo he dejado explicado el, eh, por correo y os lo recuerdo, ¿vale? Entonces mañana no habla formulación, centraros en estudiar esto y... Y después de este examen, pues ya le dais el repasillo a la, a la formulación. Mandé ayer un quiz que podéis hacer hasta el jueves que viene. Entonces, dejarlo para, para más para adelante y preocupar ahora de, de aseguraros bien la formulación, de darle un buen, un buen repaso y, y luego ya haréis la... Perdón, de hacer la estequiometría, darle un buen repaso y ya luego haréis la, la formulación. ¿Vale? Bueno, pues si no hay ninguna duda más, el lunes lo que haré será abrir el, abrir el chat de, del directo por si queréis preguntar alguna duda por allí. Abriré el chat del directo y, y por correo electrónico también me podréis, me podréis preguntar sin problema ninguno. ¿Vale? Por cualquier duda del, del, del correo. Mandadme las fotos, por favor, por can scanner Y si puede ser posible, y hace buena, buena calidad las fotos, que tengan que estén enfocadas, que estén iluminadas. Y, y bueno, yo creo que os va a salir bien. Es larguito, pero sabiendo lo que hacéis, mmm, no vais a tener problema de tiempo. Bueno, pues si no hay ninguna duda más, yo corto por aquí. Y mucho.